And the question comes, when you guys ask questions, I ask you not to be polite and the question the hell out of everything I say. And if there's things you don't understand, you have to let me know. Now, how many of you know there are metals today with a memory? It's called shape memory alloys. How many of you saw it in our films? Okay. There are metals today with a memory. So, and they always ask me, who invented it? Some Swedish guy, a metallurgist, was mixing different metals together. And he mixed nickel and titanium together, and he bent it and left it on a table near a heat lamp, and it straightened out again. And he, he didn't sit down and invent it. He discovered it. Nobody ever invented anything. They tell you in school that somebody invented the wheel, and that was the beginning of the technical age. A tree fell over another tree, and people pulled it, and it rolled. But nobody ever sat down and bent the wheel. When that, log, when that log rolled, if there was one stone in the way, it stopped the log from turning. So they shaved the bark off, just took a long time in the middle, so that the midsection was thinner, and the wheels were on the outer section. So nobody sat down and invented the wheel, or invented anything, for that matter. Now, I said, uh, they invited me to speak at Princeton University, and the name of the subject, Man Can't Think a Reason. That made everybody angry in the university, because they all knew that men could think and reason. So a guy from the optics department said, I don't agree with you before I even said a word. I said, well, what is it that you don't agree with? He said, man can think and reason. I said, give me one example. He said, well, there was not a camera at one time, and somebody had to think about it. Now, in China, a thousand years ago, they, if you were in a dark building, there was a little hole in it, you saw people walking upside down on the wall. If you've been in a barn which is very dark and there's a knot hole in it, you'll see cows walking on the wall upside down if the sun's out and the barn is dark. That's where the pinhole camera came from. Nobody sat down and says, you've got to make a camera. Click. See? And now what about the negatives? Somebody had to make a negative. The American Indians used to take berry juice and squeeze it on mats they made for the floor of the wigwam. They'd squeeze blueberry juice, cherries, and so they get patterns. But if a leaf fell on the berry juice, you picked it off, there was a print of the leaf. That's where the print came from. And people walking barefoot in sand suggested the mold. You understand when you make a mold, you put something in it? Nobody can sit down and invent anything. The first guy that tried to fly died. Probably the first hundred guys that tried to fly died. So if you do medical research and you work for three years on cancer and he finds out what doesn't work, I read his book and two years later I come up with a little bit of an approach to cancer. I get a Nobel Prize, he gets nothing. There's thousands of people just as sincere that work on problems that don't come up with an answer. You should never give a Nobel Prize to one person. All these people are hard working trying to find the answers. So when you start giving out medals or jobs in a beauty contest, a girl gets an award. Did she make her face? Has a soft material, molded in extreme beauty? Then you give her some kind of medal. But if she's born that way, what the hell is that about? <laughs> so the world you live in is as full of shit as a Christmas turkey. And you're not about to talk to people and turn them around. You have to demonstrate it. The shape memory metals that I was talking about is made of nickel and titanium. It's a wire. And if you took that wire and bent it in form so it spelled out Jesus Christ, put it on a table, put a hot lamp over it, straighten it up and put it on the table and go like that, and it'll go back to Jesus Christ. You can build the following with shape memory alloys if you want to.